Welcome to the Daily 19. This is day eight of a series of 19 workouts to get you moving during lockdown. So today we're going to work on the glutes. So let's get moving. Okay, so we're going to reach back and forward. So we're just going to have a quick warm up and then we'll get cracking. So we're going to go back, forward, keeping the arms nice and straight just to warm up the shoulders. Good, let's do two more. And let's rotate. Matt is uh, still all the slippy. All right, down onto the floor. Legs straight, one leg up at a time. As I said before, it's just a quick warm up, but if you feel you need more of a warm up, then feel free to do that before you do this video. All right, let's do two more on each side. And let's do glute bridges. So we come up, squeeze, and down. Squeeze, down, squeeze. Let's do five more. Five, four, three, two, one, onto your feet. Let's get some squats done. So just nice and steady, let's just loosen up a little bit more, pushing the knees out, keeping the chest up. So the first exercise we're gonna do is a Bulgarian split squat. We did split squats uh, on one of the previous workouts, but this time we elevate the back foot. All right, arm rest. So you're gonna need a couch or a chair to put your foot on. Foot's gonna go on. You're going to have a slight forward lean. You're going to go forward and then drive up. Okay, ready? Three, two, one, and let's go. So we lower and then drive up. We're going to do 45 seconds each side. Lower and then drive. As I say, you can have a slight forward lean. This will just help engage the glutes and the hamstrings. Nice and controlled. If this feels a bit danger, like you're going to fall over, just do it next to a wall or next to a chair so you can hold on just to support yourself. All right, then just try and get as low as you can. Keeping the heel down, we've got 10 more seconds and then we're going to go, we're going to um, change straight away. One more. And rest, good, okay, then change legs. Elevate the back foot. All right, and then when you're ready, let's go, sit down, and then drive it up. As I said, you can lean forward, pushing the front knee forward over your foot there, keeping your heel down. Okay, so we're gonna go for 45 seconds here. And then we're gonna go onto a hip thrust. So a hip thrust we did do the other day, but this time we're gonna do it single-sided. So that we work each glute independently. All right, 10 more seconds. Five seconds. One more if you can. And rest good. All right, so the hip thrust we did the other day, back was on the couch, lower lift. Now we're going to take one leg out and just work one side at a time. So we're going to go for 30 seconds. Ready? Let's go. So we're going to lower lift, lower, easy when you don't have slippy mats like me, lower, lift, so we're just working this glute here, this one here, we're just putting it out of the way, so focus all your efforts on here, all right, 10 more seconds, then we're going to change legs, three, two, one, change sides, and then go straight away on the other leg. So I'm just working this glute here. So it's good to focus on each glute, each glute independently sometimes, just to make sure they're both putting the effort in basically. You don't want any freeloaders. All right, 10 more seconds. Okay, five seconds. One more. And rest, good, okay. So we stay 
on the floor here. We're going to do a lion leg raise to work the side of your glute here, glute medius. So, if you start with both legs out, tuck the bottom one under, and then you're going to lift up. That foot there is going to point down to the floor. We're going to lift and lower. Okay, ready? And let's go. So we do 30 seconds on this side, and then we're going to spin it round. So as I said, we try and point that foot down to the floor. It does feel a bit weird, but it just means you'll get a bit more out of that glute. Right, we're halfway. All right, 10 more seconds. Okay, five seconds. Let's do one more. And rest, good, all right, let's spin it on round. So I think legs straight, bend the back leg, lift on up, point down, and let's go, 30 seconds. This is where we're trying to work here. So we're gonna do 30 seconds here. Then we're gonna go onto your back, do the frog pumps. We have done these before in, the, um, in this workout series. But this time we're gonna do a combination of reps and rest, not rest, an isometric hold. I'll show you. Five more seconds. Three, two, one more. And rest, good, okay, onto your back. All right, frog pumps. So if we remember, feet are together, pushing through the heels, down. We're going to be lifting and down, but then we're just going to be doing some uh, holds at the top here, isometric holds. Okay, ready? Three, two, one. So we're going to lift and lower. So we've got reps, repetitions at the start for 10 seconds. If you want a weight, you can use a weight here. All right, now we're going to lift and hold. So squeeze as hard as you can. Push the heels together. Really think about getting the glutes working. Okay, ready? And let's go. Let's do reps. Up, down, up, down. 10 seconds. Really squeeze. As I said, if you want to use a weight, just hold the weight here. Okay, lift and hold and squeeze. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Three, two, one. Back to reps. About 20 more seconds. Then we're back to the Bulgarian split squats. So then we've done one round, we've got two to go. Okay, and lift and hold and squeeze. 10 seconds. Really squeeze hard. Okay, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Three, two, one, and rest. All right, stand it up. Bulgarian split squat. So remember, we've got 45 seconds each side. Elevate that back foot. Ready, and let's go. Nice and control down and drive it up. If you want, you can have a dumbbell in each hand. If you just got one heavy weight, you can hold it here. Or alternatively, you can hold it in the opposite hand to the opposite leg. Say if you've got a kettlebell, you could be holding it here. So you've got options. Remember, nice and controlled down. And then drive. Control down. And drive. Okay, 15 seconds. And then we're going to change legs. Slowly. Drive. Five more seconds. One more. And rest. Good. All right. Check it out. Get ready. Change legs. If you're having weight, you just got one weight, change it to the other hand. All right. Three, two, one. Let's go. So we lower, lean forward, drive up. Forward and drive up. So I'd say if you had one weight with the left leg here, you would hold it in the right hand here. Control down, drive up. After we've done these, we're back on the couch to the single leg hip thrust. Okay, 20 more seconds this leg. Remember, if you feel unsteady, just put something here. Just dead here. You don't want to be going over on your ankle. Okay, five more seconds. And one more. And rest. Good. All right, onto the couch. Okay, so remember, upper back on here, lifting one leg out of the way, just work, working one side at a time. All right, ready? And let's go. So we're going to lower, drive. 
So here, I'm just working that left side. Just taking this right glute out of the equation as much as I can. Okay, so we're just doing 45 seconds on this side. And then we're gonna change. I'm sorry, I'm just doing 30 seconds, I'll lie. <laughs> Three, two, one, and change. The other side. So, mm, that was gonna be a bit much, 45 seconds. I got a bit giddy then, but thankfully I remembered. <laughs> just in the nick of time, before you got some bonus seconds in. All right, 15 seconds this side. And then we're down into the lying leg raises. Three, two, one. All right, onto the floor. Okay, so remember, leg straight, bend that bottom leg, lift up, and then we're gonna lift this top leg. Ready? And let's go. So lift and down. Okay, we're just gonna do 30 seconds. I'll try and get the timing right this time. I mean, extra seconds though, you know. It's not that much of a problem. All right, halfway. So we're just getting here working. Remember, point the foot down to the floor. 10 more seconds. Okay, five seconds. And rest. All right, let's swing it round. Get ready, leg straight, bend that back leg. And lift up. Ready, and let's go. So we lift and down. 30 seconds this side, and then we're into the frog pumps. All right, 10 gone. Okay, halfway. Okay, good, 10 more seconds. Okay, five seconds. One more. And rest. Good over onto your back. Get ready for your frog pump. So feet together. Push through the heels. So we'll start with the repetitions first. Ready? And let's go. So squeeze down. Squeeze down. Remember, push through the heels. Drive with the glutes. And hold. Hold for 10 seconds. This is where you're really thinking about getting these glutes working. And back, let's go, 10 seconds. Ready, and lift and hold and squeeze. Should be feeling them. As I said, you can have a weight here if you want as well. All right, and back to reps. 20 more seconds. Remember, it should be driving with the glutes rather than your lower back. If your lower back's safe, have a breather. And lift and hold, final 10 seconds. Then we're back up to the Bulgarian split squats. Three, two, one, and rest. Good. All right, I'll give you a second. So you can move slowly. Have a quick drink if you need to. Have a little bit of water, you know. Stand in front of my fan for a second. Not sure if we have time to do this, but the fan is good. Right, so remember if you're using weights, Grab some dumbbells, kettlebells if you if you wish. Okay, let's elevate the back foot. Let's get ready. Three, two, one, let's go. So lower and then drive. 45 seconds each side here. Lower down, drive up. Nice and slowly, nice and controlled. The knees going forward and then driving up with that glute. So you can have a slight forward lean here. So we try and get into the glute. A little bit more. All right, 20 more seconds. All right, good, 10 more seconds. Final five. And rest, good, all right, just check it out. Then we'll change legs, elevate the back foot. Okay, get ready, three, two, one. Let's go, slowly down and drive. Knee forward, drive up. 
nice and controlled. Remember, if it's uneven, you feel a bit nervous about it, just hold on to something, a wall, a chair, whatever you can, that's gonna make it a bit more stable and secure for you. All right, nearly through. Okay, after these, we're gonna be on the couch for your hip thrust. Single leg, just 30 seconds. We'll try and sneak a bit longer this time. All right, we've got 10 more seconds. Five seconds. And rest, good, all right, onto the couch. Okay, so 30 seconds each side. Let's get ready and let's go. So just one side at a time. Just put, holding that other leg out of the way. All right, good, tang on. Okay, halfway. 20 more seconds, 20 seconds gone. Okay, final five, three, two, one. Good, all right. Change sides, other leg. Okay, ready, and let's go, drive up. So just remember, focus everything on that one glue. All right, 10 gone. That's halfway, we've got 15 more seconds to go. That's it, nearly through. Five seconds and we're down over the floor. Onto your side, three, two, one, and rest, good. All right, straight into it, legs straight. Bend that back leg, lift up, and let's go. 30 seconds. So that toe, that foot there is pointing down to the ground as much as you can. All right, halfway. Okay, 10 more seconds. Three. Two, one, and spin it round. Other side. Ready? And let's go. Yeah, that's it, pointing that toe down. We're working here. Okay, we've got 15 more seconds. And finish up on frog pumps. Five seconds. And rest. All right, let's spin it over. Feet together. Ready, and let's go. Let's start with reps first of all. Nearly through. Promise. Okay, lift and hold and squeeze. Really squeeze as hard as you can. Remember, weight on there if you want to. Okay, and let's go, 10 seconds, into reps. Okay, lift and hold. Okay, back to reps, nearly through, 20 more seconds. So really squeeze, five more seconds. And lift and hold, 10 seconds, squeeze as hard as you can. After this, quick stretch, then we're done. Okay, three, two, one, and let's go. All right, quickly into a glute stretch. One leg across, back leg straight, and lean in. Ideally, you would do these glute stretches for longer, but obviously, because it's just 19 minutes, we're a bit squished for stretching time. So feel free. I would hold this glute stretch personally for about three minutes one side, three minutes the other, and then change legs, but obviously I don't have time right now. All right, quickly change sides. Let's just do a quick stretch this one, and then I will leave you to get on with your day, and then hopefully uh, you'll come back for, uh, for day nine tomorrow. All right, okay, and we're done. All right, hope you enjoyed it. 
Any feedback at all, do let me know. Thank you.